Good afternoon, this is your friend Angel over at Palm Chevrolet in Ocala, Florida showing you this beauty that just came in. This is the Corvette 2020 3LT convertible. It's the first and only convertible that we're going to receive this year at least after waiting more than 14 months for it. It's a 3LT C51 package uh, with the natural deep seats, Arctic white, and it also has all the suede package including the steering wheel. You can see the 3LT here has the cameras for the what we call the curb cameras. There's one right here, there's one over there, and it would also include the performance data recorder, which is show up over here on the windshield. I don't know if you can see it there, but there is a camera there. You can use it as a dash cam, and it has preloaded maps for the different tracks around the world, etc. We also have a little monitor here on the dashboard. That's for your heads-up display. All Corvettes 2LT and above, we have the heads-up display, including the convertible. And the convertible dates back to 1953. The first Corvette ever built was a convertible. And then the coupes came around. And then at some point they were building more coupes than convertible. And that's still the case today. We waited a lot longer for the convertible than we did for the coupes. A lot more, actually. We couldn't get in any of this before COVID. Notice that the calipers say C51. That's how you recognize some of the elements of the C51 package on the convertible. It also has a dual mod mode exhaust system and notice that the exhaust is no longer on the middle of the car it's being moved to each side of the car and that allows us to for example have backup sensors this is the first Corvette in history to have backup sensors uh, before we couldn't do it because this is the location of all the heat extractors the exhaust system too much heat going on they couldn't do it so up until this point we never had backup sensors in the car and their rear cross traffic alert they can detect cars at 65 feet from both sides of the vehicle when you're backing off of a parking space for example c51 package would also include this the spoiler which is the only way to get it right now it's not even for sale that's an accessory and we ordered this one with the trident wheels in silver nice little touch there we left the carbon flash scoops on the side and we ordered the carbon flash roof and this is excellent. I think every convertible should be like this. Uh, aside from maybe something with a crazy color, but I love the looks of the how it breaks the two colors and it combines with the scoops. Even the eight pillars on the car are uh, carbon flash, painted in carbon flash metallic. And of course, the best part of this Corvette convertible is that it's a hardtop convertible. We never had a hardtop convertible before on the Corvette. For a little while, we didn't have any hardtop convertibles on the lineup, period. GM decided to make, to stop making the hardtop convertible Pontiac G6 back in 09. I don't think we ever had another hardtop convertible after that car went away. So, but here it is. They knew how to do it and they did it again. Beautiful car. These are heat extractors. I don't know if you can notice here to release some of the heat on the engine. And even though it's sealed down there, it's very quiet, uh, very cool. I mean, it doesn't get any extra heat uh, that we're expecting to have. It's perfect. When you open the trunk space, you notice too that it's about the same space of the regular trunk space on the coupe. You still have room for two golf bags in here. And in fact, you can remove this floor mat. You can see how deep that is. We also ordered this one with the battery protection package, which is a trigger charger you can put on your garage to keep the battery alive if you're gonna leave the car in the garage for too long. And of course, you need it in Florida, wheel locks. <laughs> Somebody needed it in Michigan too, I heard. <laughs> so you can close the trunk very nicely. You just push it right and easy and it closes itself. We can see the Stingray badge in carbon flash. The emblems from Corvette, same color as well. It's a nice combination. This is the first Corvette in history also to have blind spot alert. I don't know if you can see it there. We never offer blind spots in this car for the same issues with the heat extractors in the back. Going to the front, all the front I should say is F-R-U-N-K because it's a trunk that is on the front. I don't know if you guys heard it before, but going uh, on the pass, excuse me, the driver's side headlight, you do this little button here, you push it and this will open. It opens twice actually. Because the idea here, number one, is to keep every this secure. And number two, if you're going to connect your trigger charger here to the 12 volt outlet, you can simply close this halfway. And you notice it's still locked. But you can get the 
cables out and it won't damage your the edge of the car and none of these beautiful gaps they do from the factory it's really nice uh, the nice and finish on this is unbelievable now if you wonder what this is this is part of your c51 package and it's your air ducts uh, for the brakes so you can have this installed if you're going to track your car and it will actually direct the air onto the rotors look how deep this space is right here it's pretty pretty big so big in fact that they have to leave a release here for somebody that is trapping here can escape the battery is located right here on the front also the brake pump and also the windshield washer fluid quite easy to maintain your corvette when you close the front you gotta make sure you do it twice actually so the first time is the halfway through it and then you have to push it again just like that and it's completely sealed so they weren't having issues with somebody leaving this open and it opened when they were driving so they had to do a recall i don't know if you heard it on the news or the in the car world they were talking about that opening they say it was 100 percent human error and i agree because i've seen people leaving them open before now going around the car you notice that the passenger mirror it's a little longer than the driving mirror in fact it's two inches longer and this is a thing that happens with mid-sized car in general mid-engine cars i should say excuse me i see so ferraris lambos have the same thing this is the like uh, excuse me the key for the corvette you notice that it has some a little bit more buttons than the other one you can hit the talk button i mean the lock button here notice that it has the turn signal here the headlights are beautiful how about you open the car of course let me uh, go to the back just to show you how it sounds it's like music for most people so i'm gonna do the same for you guys that i did in spanish quite easy we hit this button twice wow that's the sound of a small v8 <laughs> small block v8 on a corvette and this is amazing because when you see this car it kind of looks like an exotic but then it sounds like a muscle car, so it surprised a lot of people for the way it sounds. They don't expect that to sound like that, but it tells you right there that it's a Corvette. And of course, like any other convertible from C7 and up, you can do this. Now something strange is going to happen here, and it's that the ambulance is coming. Perfect time for this. The car will shut off. Had to hit unlock first. And now the car. Oopsie. Yes, so you have to hold the button in place there and the car will shut off because it's opening the engine compartment for safety of course and this will happen right in front of your eyes. It takes about 18 seconds and you can do it in just about about 30 miles an hour so you don't have to stop to do your put your top up or put it down which is beautiful. And notice how nice this is. This is a 3LT with the natural deep seats so it's all covered on the natural color. And notice this little protection for the head of the driver and passenger uh, that's why you have this right here and it looks amazing it kind of looks like a fighter jet or something you see it from the back it's absolutely beautiful let me cover it up right here so going on the excuse me passenger side of the car quite easy to open it just look for the latch right here we ordered this one with this floor mat. You notice that we had the one on the back. It had the Stingray logo, very nice done. These are uh, emergency release. But notice that the passenger has memory seats now. So if you have more than one girlfriend, <laughs> you can memorize their position on the seats. That way nobody's fighting over the seats when somebody changed the position. And the competition seats are awesome. And it's only a $500 option on the convertible to upgrade to the competition seat. And it has this performance textile, it's called. So not only you have leather, carbon fiber, then you have suede in the middle, then you have this performance textile, which protects the seat actually from getting damaged. I think it's gonna be more durable, especially if you're gonna track this car. I don't know who's gonna do that, but you can do it. Even the glove box is wrapped with suede, which feels really nice. You can open it right there, it's pretty deep, pretty big. Uh, passing, uh, power seat, of course, for the driver and passenger as well. And it has a uh, fold different setups for lumbar before we only had two so that's really nice oh my god i love this car <laughs> we go around the here this is something i don't see every day it's the first time i've seen one so i'm going here speechless sometimes but look at the passenger door nice touch here with the memory seats this is your release for the doors 
And notice that we have more buttons in the coupe. Two of these buttons are top related. This is for the top up and down. And this is for the little window here. We can close it and open it. Even when the top is up or down. The big button here is for your power mirrors. When you push it, they fold in electronically. First Corbett in history do have that. We never had that either. So a lot of advantages now on the new C8 for around the same price of the C7. There is a lot more to it, uh, a lot more technology and of course a lot more speed, which is the best part. Now going on the driver's side, which is my favorite place in the world right now. <laughs> Notice that the uh, uh, steering wheel is covered in suede with this French stitching around the, the steering wheel. And they have this natural center line right there. Pretty cool. You can see all the stitching going from up here all the way around the steering wheel a lot of nice attention to details here to start the car let's see uh close the door first of course and they place this movie here notice there's like a corvette silhouette and it says corvette over there it's beautiful love that i wish it shows a convertible but i'm pretty sure that's a coupe on the picture but that's okay <laughs> to start the car we hit the brake and the start button of course everything here comes to life Turn on the radio here. It's still in a demonstration mode, as they call it. And this is your shifter now. There's no more shift knob. There is no stick shift. There is no chrome wheels anymore. So a lot of changes. This is a dual clutch transmission. You can put it in park by pressing the button. You can put it in reverse by pulling a button. You can put it in neutral by pushing a button. You can put it in drive by pulling a button. You can put it in manual mode by pushing a button. So quite comprehensive, but mainly the two things that get the car moving you pull and the two things that make the car stop you push except for the manual mode which works when you don't drive of course you can choose whether you want to do manual or drive once you hit the p it means that you're in park and notice that you have this nice pattern shifter now they're covered by nice aluminum and nice use of aluminum everywhere on door panels you can see the speakers speaking of speakers this is the performance uh, excuse me bose performance series this is the first and only car in the world to have 14 speakers in a two-door, two-people car. 14 speakers in total. This sound system kicks for real. Take my word for it. I can't do it because of the copyrights, but it sounds really nice. When I hit continue, you won't be disappointed. So this is the uh, eight inch screen, which is standard in all Corvettes. Notice that it has all these apps. You can relocate all these apps. You can move them around if you like. Or you can download more apps we have an app store for over 20 apps right now we started out with five apps uh, notice that we also have a, a camera button here when i push the camera button and activates my front cameras right now i'm sitting i don't have to put it in reverse to see what's in the front these are my left camera my right camera on the bumper and this is like a top view in 90 degree angle i can change it here again oops sorry and see the back of the car or I can see the front of the car, I can see 180 degree angle, I can do 90 degree angle, full view, or I can do the three view that I mentioned before. I can turn on and off the guidelines. If I don't like them, I can take them off, but it's good to have it on. You can see it right there in each corner. Every time I move the steering wheel, the follow me and tells you in what direction you're moving, no? Another cool thing is, you can activate the front cameras right here instead of having to touch the screen. So no matter where you are on the screen, you can always count with this button and go straight to the camera button. And then to get out, you just hit the home button again. And if you hit the home button twice, it will split the screen with navigation on one side, radio on the other one. Now, if you hit navigation, it's instantaneous. This is the MyLink radio, the newest one that we have. And notice how fast this is moved. You just touch it and it goes. That's simple. You don't have to really struggle with anything. If you're going to search something, you hit the search bar and boom, it's right there. You can type what you want it. You can also do this by voice. We have a voice command setup. Just by pressing the voice command setup right here in your steering wheel, you can talk to your radio, change the radio, you can change navigation. And speaking of the steering wheel, you also have a heated steering wheel. Over here in Florida, we're never gonna use that probably. And the left side offers your cruise control. Also, there is a button for Z mode, where you can create your own driving modes right here. When you press Z mode, notice that the screen changed. You can use a Z appear on the screen right there uh, speaking of screens we also have a headset display which is blinking right now on the camera but in real life it's not uh, there's about three buttons right here to operate that you can move it up and down if you like you can change the information if you like and of course you also have your driving modes which we have five of them now if you notice here on the 
This is called the hand rest. Yeah, I'll direct the logo. This is covered also in suede. Even the cover for the cup holder is covered in suede, which is amazing. Suede everywhere. <laughs> it feels like I'm in a belly or something. So when I move the driving modes here, I'm in Z mode right now. I can start off with my mode. Notice that that's the weather mode. Had a little snowflake there that gets you a little bit more traction. And then you can move here to my mode, tour mode, sport mode, and then track. And track mode would be the most aggressive mode and it give you more information about track. You know how it sounds right there. You see the bar moving when you accelerate and it sounds amazing. Now, the steering wheel also gets harder. You accelerate pedal is more sensitive and your brakes are also more sensitive when you are in track mode. So I'm gonna get, leave it back in sport mode. It's my favorite. Uh, this screen is completely customizable. You can change what you see on the screen. If you wanna change what you see over here, you can. You can see the g-force this is your driving information center and you control that using this right here you move to the right that's your performance menu audio maintenance options you can change your design or go to info type selection you can choose what info exactly you want to have over here right now i'm looking at the g-force and oil temperature you can change it to many other things now if i push this button here i'll be raising the roof so all you do is pull it if you want to activate your roof and there she comes it happens quite <laughs> very fast when you push that button. Just like that, only 30, uh, excuse me, 18 seconds or so. And then when you're done with that, windows close too, so you just keep holding the buttons. And when you put it the top down, everything goes down. When you put the thing up, it goes up. Now you can roll down this window if you like. And have some uh, engine noise back there, which is always a like plus. If you don't want to listen to the radio, you can just listen to your engine. And that sounds even better. Here you are, your heated steering wheel, voice commands, and everything. So, having said that, we also have the front lift. And we push that. Then also the car race about two inches in three seconds. Right now it's racing, and it will say vehicle racing. I don't know if you heard that. It had a little air back there. That's an option. And then when you push that button again, it lowers the car. So that not, right now the vehicle is lowering. I don't know how easy that was. You just hit the lower button, and it goes. It's fabulous, I love it. <laughs> now, another cool thing is the climate buttons here. This is for the driver setup. This is all your analog button for your climate. So it starts over here. This is your heated seats, cool seats for the driver, temperature for the driver. You can change it over here if you like. And then the passenger has the same down here, but they can have their own temperature on the passenger side, but they have cool seat, heated seats as well. This is a 3LT, 2LT and above motor we have everything pretty much everything except for the suede maybe on the 20 as an option now going over here to the left side of the car this is where your parking brake is located now so you just push that button and it activates your parking brake to release it you have to hold the brake and just push it again and it release your parking brake quite easy to use we also have two more buttons here one for the trunk one for the front i notice the stingray seal plates here it looks pretty cool too Ah, what a beautiful car, my friends. Let me show it off. So I'm gonna keep suffering with you here. It is a beauty. It is available. And I don't know how long it's gonna last because I put it out of the showroom just to show you guys and I had to put it back there. And then there's a guy coming to look at it today. So it might not be, be here tomorrow. So if you're gonna inquire on this car, go ahead and do it. I have the link on the description below for our website and my phone number. I'm about an hour away from Tampa, an hour away from Orlando, not too far. And Miami, that's a different story. That's about three and a half hours, depending on what side of Miami you are. Let me show you what the window sticker says on this beautiful. 19 miles per gallon combined, 50 on the city, 27 highway. I got customers telling me already they're getting over 30 miles per gallon. Standard vehicle price for the convertible is 66.4, plus your destination charge, which would be about thousand dollars more so it's about seventy three seventy four hundred dollar option to upgrade to the to the excuse me to the convertible versus the coupe then you have the 3lt uh, premium equipment package which is eleven thousand four fifty then we have the c51 package for five thousand dollars then we have the front lift for fifteen hundred and the trident uh, uh, five trident spoke wheels for fifteen hundred then you have the carbon flash painter roof uh, that would be $12.95 and the suede steering wheel for $5.95 the competition seat like I mentioned before only $500 and of course we ordered a premium carpet floor mask for $2.35 
and the protection package with the wheel locks right there for a total of $89,750. And this is still a bargain, the biggest bargain on performance, no doubt. Look at this, everybody thinks it's a $100,000, $200,000 car, which is amazing. And with the roof painted in black, it just looks so slick. I love the way it looks, I love the way it drives, I love the way it performs. As I mentioned before, there is another camera up here. When the roof is up, you can see the camera. When the roof is done, the camera don't work. That operates your rear view mirror. So thanks for watching my video. The car is available now for you guys. And keep, that, keep giving like to my videos and subscribe. And even if I make it in Spanish, who cares? You have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.